بين I'm still getting used to this mask thing, <laughs> as you, you all are too. Um, anytime I went over to uh, Jean and Hazel, I was always welcome. They were always seemed to be there. And the last thing that Jean said to me was about Hazel. He's kind of like me. He's only half the man <clears throat> without the wife. Cecil E. Ferguson of Fairfield, born July the 15th, 1925, died May 17th, 2020. He was preceded in death by his wife of 67 years, Hazel Hill. Nar. Nar, thank you, <laughs> Ferguson. <laughs> Gene is survived by one son, David Ferguson, his wife, him, one daughter, uh, Marilyn Dean, her husband, Bobby, four grandchildren, Wayne, Rhonda, Mary Brown, Randy, Terry Dean, Tabitha, two great-grandchildren, Amber, Brown, Stewart, James, and Morgan Dean. His sister, Mary Joyce Andrews, Andrews, along with several nieces and nephews. Jean served in the Navy as USS West Point then to U.S. Naval Mobile Hospital ship. Uh, after an honorable discharge, he went to engineering school and took up flying. He served in Korean conflict with the Air Force as a reservist, and then to active duty during war times. He traveled to Vietnam as a contractor engineer during that year, Gene uh, was also a member of the Civil Air Patrol, where he earned many medals and accommodations. He served the Lord as a member of Wakefield Baptist Church. He lived an active life of travel, many endeavors with his wife, Hazel. Funeral services will be Let us pray. Father Lord, we thank you for this family. Hazel, who lived 103 years, and uh, Mr. Ferguson, Gene, uh, 94. That's more years than most of us will live. But yet we pray for this family and we pray for long life. But Father, we also pray that all of this family might know Jesus as personal Savior and Lord. And Father, watch over and care for them. Be with them during this time and the time ahead. We pray in the name of Jesus, and for his sake we pray. Amen. 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 Every time I would visit the home, I was welcome. and would talk to Jean and Hazel. We 
talked about military things, how he was, and spiritual things. Military things, and you can see uh, the military things here. Um, he would share about the things he did as well as his health up to that day. I was, and uh, Gene usually would be able to tell you about his ailments and could diagnose Amen. or have a diagnosis of just about everything. Gene and Hazel were very plain about their religion. Matter of fact, I have a, a copy of uh, the letter that he sent me, and down at the bottom it says, Saved by acceptance of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, at age 16, and baptism in the Warrior River by Reverend Nelson. Gorgeous. Is that gorgeous? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Baptist Church, Gorgeous, Alabama. So he was very proud. They were married. Hazel and Jean were married for 65 years. Always read the Bible and had prayer before I left. Wanda, my wife, uh, said that he, she didn't know that he had went to Vietnam and Korea. Her father was in the military for 28 years. Marilyn said that he wanted a military funeral and will have that one of these days. The last thing that he said to me was about Hazel. I want to read a scripture or two. First of all, 2 Timothy 4, 6 and following says, For I am now ready to be offered. And the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought the good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day and not to me only but unto all also that love is appearing the 23rd psalm says the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. <laughs> what a wonderful <laughs> psalm. As the psalmist David wrote this, he said, What is my want? It's like the prodigal son that was away from home 
and travel back. And his father sat on the porch and said to him, you don't have to say a word. Now that you're back, that's the most important thing. The foolish virgin without oil in Matthew 25. The ones who had oil and closed the door. Like a rich man in Luke 16, the rich man who was in hell. Those are the wants. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still water. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. I don't know how many times Hazel and Jean told me that their cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Tabitha will come now and sing how great thou art.
And when I think that God his son not sparing sent him to die, I scarce can take it in that on that cross my burden gladly bearing he bled and died to take away my sin then sings my soul my savior god to thee how great thou art how great thou art then sings my soul my savior god to thee how great thou art shall come with shout of acclamation and take me home what joy shall fill my heart and i shall bow in humble adoration and there proclaim my god how great thou art then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art. That should be our prayer. Let us pray. Father, thank you for this family. Watch over and care for them. And Father, we just pray that you will go with us as we lay Gene to rest. And Father, be with us. Continue to be with us. And we pray these things in the name of Jesus. And for his sake we pray. Amen.